What's going on people, it's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to delete rows if the cells in that row do not contain a certain text value. So let's get into it. Alright, so I had someone reach out to me in one of my videos. Shout out to Matrix26UK. And their question is, how would you use your macro to delete everything except the lines containing host name and transport output none? So if you look at what they sent, there's host name that pops up a few times. There's transport output none that pops up a few, a few times. So what we want to do is create a macro that will delete all the other lines and leave those um, particular lines there. So if we go ahead and uh, look at this sheet here, I went ahead and copied it over. And what we're going to do is let's go ahead and get the sub started. So we'll call this sub delete all rows without string and we'll declare our variables we're gonna need a row count as long I as long let's also declare our worksheet so this worksheet here as worksheet and then we'll also have my string as a string okay so let's set WS the worksheet equal to this workbook and the sheet name here is sheet one and then we'll go ahead and activate sheet one just in case you were to you know start this macro macro from a different uh tab or something so now we activate sheet one and then we count the rows so we get our row count that's going to be equal to ws cells and what we're going to do here is we're going to count up from the bottom so we're going to do cells rows dot count and then we're going to be in column a counting and we want to do end xl up row Alright, so at this point, we're going to be starting here as we iterate down. So I is going to be what we use to move down. So I is going to be equal to 1. And then we're going to go ahead and use a do while loop for this one. Oops. So we're going to do while. So while I is less than or equal to row count, we are going to set my string equal to WS remember WS is what we activated it's going to be sheet one so my string is going to be equal to WS cells and the cells you want is going to be I and as we go through the loop I will increase from one to two to three so I is going to be changing and then we're going to be stay, staying in column one so we'll just select one here if we were in you know column B we so this would be a two if we were in column C and this would be a three and so on but we're gonna be in column A so that's gonna be a one and we want it to set it equal to the text value in that cell and then if in string or sorry I in str right my string and then the first one was host name equals zero so that means what this function does is it gives you back the index of um, this particular string so for example if we were to run this on this first cell it would return a one so as long as it returns zero we know that host name isn't going to be in that particular cell so we'll do that and for this example, let's run it on just host name this time. Let's not run it on transport output name as well. So we're just going to run it on host name. So then what we want to do if it equals zero, which means that it doesn't, it's not contained in the cell, we want to go ahead and delete that row. So we're going to do rows I entire row delete. 
bit of space here. And then when we delete the row, we're gonna have to reset i, so we're gonna make i equal to i minus one, and also the row count is gonna be equal to row count minus one. So you see, if I were to, if I was to delete this row, then the rows would move up one. So we have to account for that by subtracting i in row count whenever we do come across this scenario. So now we can end our if. And then as we move through the loop, we need to increase i by one. So i equals i plus one. And that should do it. So let's go ahead and run the macro. Boom. You see everything was removed except the host name. So um, lucky for us, I saved another a copy of this on another sheet. So let's copy this over to sheet one. And this time we're gonna also be looking for, what was it? Transport output none. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to use an underscore to continue this line. And then we're gonna use the Boolean and and then again we're going to do instr my string and this time it's going to be transport output none equals zero then so now what's going to happen is every single cell that doesn't contain either one of those values will get deleted. All right, so let's go ahead and run it. Boom. All right, so yeah, really fast, um, pretty efficient stuff there. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you in the next one.